Stanja Balisco here, proprietor and operator of amateur radio station W1GV, Whiskey One Good Vibrations. I just uh, got a comment on my video asking whether or not uh, vertically polarized antennas receive more noise than horizontally polarized antennas at the same wavelength and in the same general location. And I got a variety of responses. But one interesting uh, possibility uh, that was suggested was corona discharge. Now, if you haven't heard of corona discharge, it is the result of high voltage electrostatic buildup on metallic objects, particularly if they have sharp points at the ends like the masts of old sailing ships and a lot of um, uh, power line uh, accessories, lightning rods, uh, things like that, and vertical antennas in many cases. Now, dipole antennas also would qualify, even if they're horizontally polarized. The only uh, requirement is that uh, electrostatic potential develop on the conductor and the longer the conductor of course and the greater the amount of thunderstorm activity or electrostatic energy in the atmosphere the likelier you are to experience corona discharge if you've ever seen it at the end of your antenna it's pretty hard to miss it's a purple or violet colored glow that you would see at night Sometimes you can actually hear the hissing discharge coming from it, and you certainly will hear it if you connect a radio receiver to that object, a vertical antenna, for example. But corona discharge, is, it's also a danger signal uh, for the possibility that lightning might be more likely to strike an antenna that's exhibiting corona discharge as I understand it. How do you prevent it? Well, <laughs> how you prevent corona discharge from destroying or damaging your ham radio equipment is to disconnect it from the equipment when you're not using it. And also, if you ground your antenna for direct current to a separate earth ground away from your station, you're less likely to suffer adverse consequences in the event that lightning should actually strike the antenna that the because corona discharge again is a an indicator that there's a high electrostatic potential on the antenna of course if it gets high enough uh, you might get lightning uh, discharging from your antenna i've never seen corona discharge on an antenna, but that doesn't mean it isn't there. It can cause and will cause broadband noise in any receiver that is connected to that antenna. Loop antennas don't exhibit corona discharge because they uh, don't have sharp points at the ends. The ends are both at the radio. If you put a ball, uh, you know, a sphere, a metallic sphere or capacity hat, capacitance hat, at the end or ends of an antenna, you greatly reduce the chance of your having corona discharge occur on that antenna. But I wonder if any of you have ever experienced corona discharge, actually seen it, and if any of you have ever witnessed a catastrophic lightning strike. Corona discharge, by the way, can often occur on high voltage or high tension power lines. You can sometimes even hear the hissing near utility poles that, uh, or utility towers carrying those lines. And I've personally heard them myself and makes me wonder what kind of an electrostatic and electromagnetic environment we live in and what effects that might actually be having on the health of humans and animals in general. 
exposed now to an environment literally bathed in electromagnetic, electrostatic, and, elect, uh, and magnetic fields. Uh, but that's, that's a topic for another video and even, even for controversy, I guess. Stangibilisco, W1GV, saying 73 and so long, which, in my native fist, even if I transmit using an antenna that has corona discharge actually taking place on it, translates into da-da-da-da-da-da.